Yashar Jasher 58. And it came to pass in the 32nd year of Yashar El going down to Mitzrayim, that is, in the 71st year of the life of Yosef. In that year died Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and Magran, his son, reigned in his stead. And Pharaoh commanded Yosef before his death to be a father to his son, Magran, and that Magran should be under the care of Yosef and under his counsel. And all Mitzrayim consented to this thing, that Yosef should be king over them. For all the Mitzrayim loved Yosef as of heretofore, only Magran, the son of Pharaoh, sat upon his father's throne, and he became king in those days in his father's stead. Magran was 41 years old when he began to reign, and 40 years he reigned in Mitzrayim, and all Mitzrayim called his name Pharaoh after the name of his father, as it was their custom to do in Mitzrayim to every king that reigned over them. And it came to pass when Pharaoh reigned in his father's stead, he placed the laws of Mitzrayim and all the affairs of government in the hand of Yosef, as his father had commanded him. And Yosef became king over Mitzrayim, for he superintended over all Mitzrayim, and all Mitzrayim was under his care, and under his counsel. For all Mitzrayim inclined to Yosef after the death of Pharaoh, and they loved him exceedingly to reign over them. But there were some people amongst them who did not like him, saying, No stranger shall reign over us. Still the whole government of Mitzrayim devolved in those days upon Yosef after the death of Pharaoh, he being the regulator, doing as he liked throughout the land without anyone interfering. And all Mitzrayim was under the care of Yosef. And Yosef made war with all his surrounding enemies, and he subdued them. Also, all the land and all the Peleshitim unto the borders of Canaan did Yosef subdue, and they were all under his power, and they gave a yearly tax unto Yosef. And Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, sat upon his throne in his father's stead, but he was under the control and counsel of Yosef, as he was at first under the control of his father. Neither did he reign but in the land of Mitzrayim only, under the counsel of Yosef, but Yosef reigned over the whole country at that time, from Mitzrayim unto the great river Parat. And Yosef was successful in all his ways, and Yahuwah was with him, and Yahuwah gave Yosef additional wisdom and honor and glory and love toward him in the hearts of the Mitzrayim and throughout the land. And Yosef reigned over the whole country forty years. And all the countries of the Peleshitim, and Canaan, and Sidon, and on the other side of the Yardan, brought presents unto Yosef all his days. And the whole country was in the hand of Yosef. And they brought unto him a yearly tribute as it was regulated 
for Yosef had fought against all his surrounding enemies and subdued them. And the whole country was in the hand of Yosef. And Yosef sat securely upon his throne in Mitzrayim. And also all his brethren, the sons of Yaakov, dwelt securely in the land all the days of Yosef. And they were fruitful and multiplied exceedingly in the land. And they served Yahuwah all their days, as their father, Yaakov, had commanded them. And it came to pass at the end of many days and years, when the children of Esau were dwelling quietly in their land, with Bila, their king, that the children of Esau were fruitful and multiplied in the land. And they resolved to go and fight with the sons of Yaakov and all Mitzrayim, and to deliver their brother Sifo, the son of Eliphaz, and his men, for they were yet in those days slaves to Yosef. And the children of Esau sent unto all the children of the east, and they made peace with them, and all the children of the east came unto them to go with the children of Esau to Mitzrayim to battle. And there came also unto them of the people of Angius, king of Din Abba. And they also sent unto, unto the children of Yishmael, and they also came unto them. And all this people assembled and came unto Seir to assist the children of Esau in their battle. And this camp was very large and heavy with people. Numerous as the sand of the sea, about 800,000 men, infantry and cavalry. And all these troops went down to Mitzrayim to fight with the sons of Yaakov, and they encamped by Ra'a Mechek, rather Ra'a Masech. And Yosef went forth with his brethren, with the mighty men of Mitzrayim, about six hundred men. And they fought with them in the land of Ramasek. And the sons of Yaakov, at that time again, fought with the children of Esau in the fiftieth year of the sons of Yaakov going down to Mitzrayim. That is the thirtieth year of the reign of Bila over the children of Esau in Seir. And Yahuwah gave all the mighty men of Esau and the children of the east into the hand of Yosef and his brethren, and the people of the children of Esau and the children of the east were smitten before Yosef. And of the people of Esau and the children of the east that were slain, there fell before the sons of Yaakov about two hundred thousand men. And their king, Bila, the son of Beor, fell with them in battle, rather in the battle. And when the children of Esau saw that their king had fallen in battle and was dead, their hands became weak in the combat. And Yosef and his brethren and all Mitzrayim were still smiting the people of the house of Esau. And all Esau's people were afraid of the sons of Yaakov and fled from before them. And Yosef and his brethren and all Mitzrayim pursued them a day's journey, and they slew yet from them about three hundred men, continuing to smite them in the road, and they afterward turned back from them. And Yosef and all his brethren returned to Mitzrayim 
Not one man was missing from them. But of the Mitzrim, there fell 12 men. And when Yosef returned to Mitzrayim, he ordered Sifo and his men to be additionally bound, and they bound them in irons, and they increased their grief. And all the people of the children of Esau and the children of the east returned in shame, each unto his city, for all the mighty men that were with them had fallen in battle. And when the children of Esau saw that their king had died in battle, they hastened and took a man from the people of the children of the east. His name was Yobav, the son of Zarach, from the land of Batra, And they caused him to reign over them instead of Bela, their king. And Yovav sat upon the throne of Bela as king in his stead. And Yovav reigned in Edom over all the children of Esau ten years. And the children of Esau went no more to fight with the sons of Yaakov from that day forward. For the sons of Esau knew the valor of the sons of Yaakov, and they were greatly afraid of them. But from that day forward, the children of Esau hated the sons of Yaakov, and the hatred and enmity were very strong between them all the days unto this day. And it came to pass after this, at the end of ten years, Yovav, the son of Zarach, from Batra, rather, Batra, died, and the children of Esau took a man whose name was Chushham from the land of Teman, and they made him king over them instead of Yovav. And Chushma, ha, rather, Chusham reigned in Edom over all the children of Esau for twenty years. And Yosef, king of Mitzrayim, and his brethren, and all the children of Yashar'el, dwelt securely in Mitzrayim in those days, together with all the children of Yosef and his brethren, having no hindrance or evil accident, and the land of Mitzrayim was at that time at rest from war in the days of Yosef and his brethren.